Well, hello again. Here I am at the RSNA 2012. We're almost at the end. And I went in for a talk. Actually, it was an interactive session uh, where we were giving diagnoses. And, you know, they were tracking how we answered, when it came in, early, late, correct, not incorrect. And they said something that struck a chord with me and I thought I'd share with you. It's, it's a lifelong thing. If you make your decisions early, you will tend to be correct. So what happened was that as the answers were coming in, they could track who were the you know, um, early responders and which ones got it correct. Now, their observation, which they announced to everybody, was that the people who made an early decision were usually right, and the people who waited until the last minute or were late responders were mostly wrong. In fact, they put it more strongly than that. They said, if you were an early responder, you were right about 99% of the time. What does that tell you? When you know it, when you make a quick decision and a correct and a decision very quickly, you are usually right. So you need to hone your skills such that it actually hits you like a bullseye. You can actually tell when you're right. Um, and when you're not, you do some more research. But you want to get yourself in the terms of habits where you actually end up knowing when you're right because you have done the work, because you have made a habit, because you have put in the hours. Uh, it's like the famous, you know, if you work, if you become an expert, you've put in your 10,000 hours. All that is basically telling you is that you've paid your dues. You've done it again and again and again. You've become a Michael Jordan. You've become a Tiger Woods. You've become your local expert in your whatever niche you happen to be in but you have to put in the time if you don't put in the time you won't get the results and that confidence brings with it early quick decisions it's not an arbitrary decision they are quick decisions quick decision making processes and you want to get yourself to that place B, make sure that when you're learning you keep on doing it such that when it, it, it's just natural you become Decisive. You make early decisions. You don't piddle around. Piddling around is not a sign of success and it won't lead you to success. You need to keep on doing it until it becomes so natural. You can make decisions. You can give answers very quickly. That's a sign of confidence of being an expert. So on that note, um, I'm about to go in for the last session for today, but I just wanted to share this with you that decisiveness is key to your success. You Early decisions come from a lifetime of good habit and confidence. So it's an aggregate that gets you to that decisiveness. It just doesn't happen overnight. But it's building a habit, becoming an expert, and that gives you the confidence to make your decisions quickly. Okay, please share this if you want with your friends. Like us on Facebook. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the newsletter because there are fantastic offers around, which are only available if you happen to be on my newsletter. So when I get back, I'm going to be, you know, putting out some really, really nice offers there. Take care. Bye.